Hey guys, welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. So today we are go we're going to discuss some of the changes that are going to end up in Edge of the Mist Arena. I know some of you may not know what this ar arena is, but it's definitely good news for Guild vs. Guild and World vs. World for practicing and stuff like that. Uh, let's get into it. This was just posted one hour ago and uh, they're going to have an Edge of the Mist Arena update on May 25th release. So basically... There's three points here. The first point is basically saying that uh, you're now when you enter this arena, you're able to select which color you want to be, um, whatever two different colors that are opposing. So instead of you being a particular color, this time you can be a color and uh, you could team up with like maybe another world, another server, and or you know you can go against another world or another server. So this makes selection. A lot easier and you don't have to be a particular server in order for you to face the other opposing team so this is a good addition on the edge of, okay they're just gonna add a uh, flag for you to interact to switch between teams if you want and leaving it and okay yeah so that's the bit that's the main thing you're able to select your own team and then you can go against them so Let's say, for example, you're in the same server with your same guild, but within your own guild, you want to face each other off like a 10 versus 10 for a practice round, right? Your, your 10 versus 10, so half of your 10 people can just select another color, and then you guys can face each other off within the same guild in this arena. So what this means is that we can... I mean, I'm going to show you what they mean by this. So we're going to enter Edge of the Mist. I know some people probably don't even know this exists because uh, farming in Edge of the Mist has been outdated since time itself. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's we're going to enter it very soon. OK, so basically the Edge of the Mist is it's just like your regular world versus world stuff. You just take over points here, but the arena is different. It, you're going to have to go over here. I know this is totally new to me. At least, you know, for me, I, I never knew this actually existed. So you go to this gate to the Mist Arena, and it's going to take you to the arena, and this is where you face off with the guild. So uh, this is how it looks right now, but after the update, you're you're going to be a spectator, so you won't be a target here. You're going to be, like, uh, an ally to all the team until you select your team uh, upon interacting with the flag. And basically, this area, you're going to have whole this entire area here you you could uh group up and say like okay uh we're gonna practice guild versus guild right here one team is sitting over there one team is sitting there and then you say one two three and go and this is how you practice for world versus world and for competitive play this is a good change because it does give you more practice uh before the actual world versus world update uh, arrives and once you get that enough practice it's gonna be even more competitive when we get that world versus world update so they also added a transformation option for spectators, which removes their skill and allows them to float above the battlefield to get a better view of the action. So that's just like how you spectate in PvP when you're not actually PvPing, but spectating. So that's a good change to see like what's going on in the battle. Uh, this trying to maintain a certain height above the arena. Okay, yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little update that is coming on May 25th. Uh, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe right now. And if you haven't liked the video, like the video. And uh, yeah, sorry, it's not gonna like be good for like everyone. But for those people who care about World vs. World, this is a nice change. Or for those of you who are in guilds that do World vs. World and does a lot of guild vs. guild, this is a nice change for you. So yeah, let's go. We're gonna have a lot of guild vs. guild. Yeah, go. This is why Guild Wars 2 is called Guild Wars 2 because it's Guild Wars. Yeah.